Good afternoon, everybody. Kevin Schultz here with the all new high performance S Boss. Little backstory on this board. It is something that I first rode actually when I got on Firewire and Slater Designs almost three years ago. And it's a shape that myself, Dan Man, and Kelly have been working on for those three years. It's a kind of more rounded outline, round nose, bullet nose with this round tail, and then a really unique spinal V all the way through the deck of the board. So you got this big double V all the way through the middle, and then a really straight rail line from about the fins to the last 12 inches of the board. Just right when I got on Firewire and Slater Design started riding these boards, uh, Kelly had one of these sitting in his shed that Dan Man had shaped, and I grabbed it, took it for a spin. First surf was actually out here at Seaside on it, and I just kind of felt something really special, really unique about the board. Once I got on it, I had Dan shape me a custom one, a little more catered to my dimensions, and from there we just started playing with where the fins were placed, the rail line, the rocker, and everything. And this is a board that I've surfed in everything from overhead surf to one foot, and it's just been that high performance feeling. Um, I kind of tokened it the speed pickle originally. Uh, my buddy and I were running down the hill at Creek, and he looked at it and he just was like, oh, that thing looks like an absolute pickle. And it was so fast. This board carries so much speed through waves that I was like, okay, this board's amazing and something that I really wanted to continue to develop with Dan, Kelly, and myself. And over time, I've gone through probably 15 different variations with Dan and Kelly. And then we ultimately ended on this shape right here. Like I mentioned, it's got the big spinal V all the way through the bottom, a straight rail line from the fins to about the last 12 inches of the board. And so instead of the board turning off of what feels like the rail line, it feels like it turns more off the concave, so it rolls really easily. And something unique that I felt about this board, as the waves got bigger and more critical, that straight rail line would engage and actually pick up speed and hold even more as the waves got bigger. But that double V through the bottom, that spine, allows it to roll over really easily in smaller surf. I've surfed it as a thruster, I've surfed it as a quad, and I've actually kind of run a five fin setup in it as well with two twins and then the endorphin nub fins in the side with a super small trailer in the middle. And all those fin variations work in different types of waves. So you can play around with your fin systems and ultimately find what works for you in this board. Like I said, I've surfed it in well overhead surf. It's gone amazing. And then I've surfed it in really small, barely catchable waves. And this board just carries speed really nicely. It's got that real nice rounded outline with the bullet nose and the round tail. And it's just amazing. So touching on the fins now, I always ride the endorphins. I have the large thruster set in this board. And then sometimes I'll switch over and ride the medium quad set. And then again, going to that five fin setup that I've kind of been messing around with in really small surf, just allows it to kind of flow and have that twin fin feel with more of a thruster hold as the five fin setup. This board's been pretty amazing. And then the production models are coming out in Ibolic. And the Ibolic here is just something where it has a different flex pattern than the Helium or the LFT setup. I feel like a little more flex and this board kind of bounces back into me when I'm surfing uh, more critical waves. It feels really responsive, like it's got a lot of spring, a lot of lively feeling in it. And um, if you kind of look at it, when I put it down, you can actually see that flex very gently and then it springs back quickly. So that's something that I really enjoy about the Ibolic with that I-beam down the middle and then these outer stringer kind of running parallel through the whole board. It's been my everyday surfboard. I'll continue to post clips on it in different types of waves just so everybody can kind of see how it works. But it's just a really friendly surfboard. You're able to get that high performance aspect on good waves and then you're also able to get going in really small surf. Point breaks, beach breaks, slabs, it works in all of it. Size-wise, this is the 5.7, it's 28.1. This was my custom, this one's a 5.6 at about 27 and a half liters. I ride it about two to three inches smaller than my normal shortboards. FRK that I ride is 
This is 5'7". I've surfed a 5'6 as well, and it goes really nicely. So depending on how much foam you want, uh, you can kind of size up or size down as you prefer. Super excited to kind of release this board with the crew over at Slater Designs and Firewire. I know Kelly's been loving it. I know he surfed it at the ranch in a heat during the WSL event uh, a few years back. Really enjoyed it. It's got a lot of spring. The tail allows it to be super versatile with the fin setup, and then it's just got a lot of different feels about this board. And that, that's something so unique about it is that you can drop a quad, you can drop a thruster, you can run a five fin setup in it, and you're gonna get different feels out of each setup. Super fun board, really excited for you guys to try it. Let me know what you think, drop any questions that you have in comments, and I'll uh, try and get back to you.